the bucks is Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for being able to see the signs and looking forward towards the signs that's giving you the confirmation to let you know the things that are coming better for your life, to know that you know, you're about to see the fr fruits of your labor. So just be patient. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you, um, you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. Uh, so I can get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and you towards a positive direction also um, if you feel like the videos give you good vibe or good information that you would love to share with the loved one family or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support you've been constantly giving me is truly a blessing and i'm very appreciate I, I, I appreciate it very much and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my uh video and today uh, the meditation music I'm listening to, I know I'll probably listen to this for recently, but I really love this one. It's very peaceful. It's called 639 Hertz, Love, Peace, and Miracles, Heal Heart Chakra, Pure Positive Energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is uh, Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Oka, seeing yourself at the finish line to start a new chapter celebrate your yourself in love and light is truly is because it was like when i started meditating earlier this is like my fourth video so it was like right before i did that i got really emotional because it's like i'm seeing empaths running a race you know and they're in their little speedos and you know got that little number on the on, on their chest and you're so emotional because you're at that, you know, that ribbon and you're busting straight through it. And I mean, y'all are just falling and just being able to say, yes, I made it. You know, there are some times we go through some really trying times that will put us in, you know, a low frequency, have us, you know, on the verge of giving up, you know, not being able to see the things that are coming towards us because we're stressed out. Um feeling like you're praying and God is not hearing you. You know, there's times, you know, you're like, you know, God, I've even been like that and I'll be crying. I'm just like, God put me on mute. God got that bag on um, call ID and just straight up, you know, acting like I'm a bill collector. Don't want to answer me. And they hear you loud and clear. You know, you have been working hard on yourself. You've been, you know, trying so hard to let go of things. They understand that a lot of things that's been placed in your life is really hard to deal with and let go but it's like if you have so many blessings and you know you have came so far and you have to be able to celebrate your life because there's so many blessings that are heading towards your way you're not even going to be able to comprehend the things that are coming towards your way um being able to see that you have came a long way like i was telling you on the last video you know we have came afar we, we came far 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 a lot of y'all have been dealing with me for a while and you know i tell y'all so bad i'm so happy for you and i truly am i truly am and i send y'all that loving vibes like i'm handing you your spiritual diploma because you earned that you really truly have you have earned that because you have worked hard you know even though there's days that might not be working in your favor where you think they're not working in your favor because we're not getting exactly what we want we're in a stressful situation and stress will allow you to feel like things have to come right now and they can't you know not if you know they're preparing something big for you because you know i just had to tell my one of my love bugs you know i did a one-on-one -on -one with them i said you you have to enjoy the fruits of your labor you have to be you know because a lot of times we tend to want to work on things on our own and not allowing you know the universe to work in our favor you know sometimes things unfold in front of us and we're not paying attention to it you know um we're we're in a hurry to get the things that we want trust me you know i'm in a situation where i'm tired of looking at the folks i'm looking at <laughs> i'm tired of looking at my eyesore but then it's just like when I see this eyesore, this pain and sorrow has built me up into a super soldier. I didn't even think I was capable of being. 
Hello. <laughs> you know, I, I got to toot my own horn and, you know, not to be saying that I'm above anybody or I'm better than anybody else because I feel like, hey, I'm going to give the same respect to the CEO. It's just like I'm going to give the same respect to the janitor. We all the same. You know, we just on different journeys. That's it. You know, and it's just like it's a blessing. It's such a blessing when you get to that point in your life and you see you know, all the mistakes that you had to make, all the setbacks you had to go through, all the failures you had to endure, the pain, the hurt, you know, the I mean, the negativeness. You had to go through all these stages of life to get to where you are, you know, so you have to be able to celebrate your life, even though it might not seem important to somebody else, but this is a big deal to you. If nobody ain't congratulating you, congratulate your daggone self. You do that because you earn that. You know, a lot of people wouldn't have been able to endure the things you have went through. I don't wish nothing on nobody, no matter how bad they are to me. I don't wish on nothing on, on anybody because, you know, if they're doing darkness to you, you know, if they're doing certain things to you and it might seem unfair, trust and believe they are already catching it. What you put in is what you get back. And there's a lot of times I used to say that's a lie. It truly is. You have to be able to look at it. Not in the sight that you need to on your level, but look at it in a spiritual level. That's what you really need to do. Being able to see, yeah, you know, you're still a work in progress. There are certain things that, you know, are you feel like you're over with. And I noticed that since my, my thing yesterday of confronting my little monsters in my closet, feelings are just dissolved. As soon as they get ready to come up, they just dissolve. Like, I, I don't even see them anymore because it's like I'm not putting that heartache i'm not putting that sadness i'm not putting that anger into those memories anymore i'm allowing them to dissolve on their own because they're not me anymore they're not a part of me and whatever is going on with you you have to be able to say the same thing to yourself because you have conquered a lot of milestones that you're not giving yourself credit for you truly are because there's a lot of y'all that has been open enough to tell me the things that's going on in your life you're able to see the blessings and the pain and sorrow that you have endured the things that you're able to know that even though yes these people did these things to you these things happened to you but it gave you strength beyond measure measures that you never thought you would be able to comprehend that you have gotten and those are the things you need to be blessed for because it's just like i had to tell myself if i did not go through all this traumatizing abuse i wouldn't have known what I've known about myself, knowing what I was capable of achieving, knowing what, what levels of greatness I'm able to climb up to. You know, I'm trying to be a, a, a better person every day. I'm not in competition with nobody. The only person I'm in competition is with, with myself. I want to be way better than I was five minutes ago. Like, oh, hurry up, self, self, got to catch up. You, you got to be able to do that to yourself. So be able to congratulate yourself. Be able to push towards that, that ribbon of you know, greatness, ribbon of excelment. You know, I don't even know if that's a word or not, but it's got to be one today. So it's just a lot of things we have endured in our lives. We need to give ourselves credit for being able to say, you know, these things have happened to me. I might have been on drugs, you know, and I'm getting rid of those things. Y'all are, y'all, y'all are constantly being tested for that you know and if you even if it's been like two or three days that you've been sober congratulate yourself for that because if it's been two or three days your your butt could have been straight high off of something that need to be out your life congratulate yourself tell the universe thank you for giving me that strength not to pick up that bottle not to pick up that syringe not to pick up that blunt or that cigarette or that drink you have to be you have to be able to do live for that moment Sometimes we try to endure and take on so much. That's what stresses you out because <laughs> you take on so much. You have to be able to live for that moment. And if you're able to get through that 10 minutes without having to focus on something negative, but being able to look focused on, on the positive things that are coming your way, that's a good 10 minutes. You have to be blessed. And thank God that you allowed me to do that. Call on your archangels when you feel like you are weak and you can't go on. They are, they're there. They're, that's what they're there for. Uh, everything's their free will they can't only time they will enforce things is if they know it's something that is going to really break you and a lot of times plans don't i say god they always say tell god your plans and watch him laugh at you 
<laughs> watch him laugh at you. Because just like the other day, I wanted to do videos. God, I'm placed a big ass headache on me so bad. I didn't want to be bothered. I was so drained. And usually I would make six six to seven videos. I was only able to make two. And I'm just like, because I almost started yawning. I had to concentrate on not yawning. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Y'all telling me to sit down, I'm going to sit down. So you keep doing the things you need to do. Working on the things you need to work on. You know, giving yourself that pat on the back when you truly need it. When you feel like you, you can't turn, I always tell people, if you need that spiritual guidance, you know, I might, I might not be there 24-7, but I tell people from Eastern Standard Time, it's like here, it's uh, 3.47 p.m. From Eastern Standard Time, from 10 o'clock in the morning all the way until 10.30 at night, I am there for you. Other than that, that's my me time. That's my sleep time. Don't disturb it. <laughs> that's Don't disturb it unless it's an absolute emergency. But it better be a good, you know, emergency. Emergency. Especially if it comes to guys. I love y'all to death. Don't think I, I don't. Especially if you have your own women. Don't text me at no 3, 4 o'clock in the morning because I don't need your wife or your girlfriend or your side piece popping off at me because I will hurt somebody's feelings. Okay? All right. So, but I'm just saying, you keep working on you. If I can be there to help you and guide you, I will be there. If you got questions that you might seem to be struggling with, if I don't know the answers, I'll be dag. I will go out my way to look for it for you to help you understand. But keep giving yourself that credit. Keep walking that, you know, keep running that mile. Because you, I mean, you about to throw that baton and you going to land on the ground. You know how you see those people in those Olympics and they, they're running those 100 meter dash and they go straight through that ribbon and then they fall on the ground or their, their team is cheering for them. We have that team. We are that empathic team to let everybody know. That's why I love my community. There's a lot of my love bugs are out here that, you know, send you that reassurance or give you their, their you know, their feedback. You know, nobody's disrespectful here because if it's disrespectful, I'm going to either erase, erase your uh, comments because a lot now they're starting to put on a lot of YouTube videos, you know, keep it in community gu guidelines, be respectful, you know, and what you need to do. You know, there's a lot of people that want to be asses towards people. If you come at me with that negativity, either I'm going to put you on blast or I'm just going to block and delete you. I, I don't have time and I really ain't about to focus myself on any kind of uh negativity anyway i'll notice some people be putting that uh that thumbs down on me i'm like i know i'm pushing out positivity if you couldn't get it that's not my problem but if you trying to sit up here and mess up my day baby you ain't about to you know you only just wasting your time and giving me that view that you didn't want me to have in the first place so i hope you were able to resonate in the content of this video i congratulate y'all because y'all have came so far i'm gonna give you that credit because i'm very proud of you and um i'm gonna give my post notification shout out to malachi smith much love to you and y'all i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend be responsible at every single thing you do you know cut that relax you know send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can towards others and towards yourself and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all all the time. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And like and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate with the content of this video. Share. Give me a thumbs up. And hit that bell. So I'll see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.